Guys, it's the Cooker of the Coach podcast. I'm Kenny. I'm the cook. Basically, I'm the coach. And guys, here's a question for you. You can put in the comments right away. Does drinking decaf make you seem like a little biatch? It is not just, biatch. Just, just, just taking a survey. How many I people out there are simp like? Addicted. I think it's very wussy like. How many people are addicted to caffeine and are ruining themselves off of that? How am I ruining myself? I'm thriving. Look it up, dude. It's not good for you. Not in the amounts people are doing it. And I don't like how it makes me feel. We don't stand for this behavior on the Cooking the Coach podcast. At least on my uh, side. Half of the so podcast com- disagrees with you. What are you talking about? You can't take a strong stance on this. Half of the show thinks you're completely wrong. Guys, please comment below. In fact, we'll put up a poll on Instagram. I'm going to pull up a- I'm going to make a story right now talking about this. Because I, I, well, okay. Are you just not, are you drinking drink coffee because like it's late at night or is it because you just don't want the caffeine in general at all with your coffee? I usually don't do caffeine with anything. Usually? You don't have, you have decaf in your coffee? I, yeah, usually decaf coffee, usually decaf drinks. And if I do caffeine, it's a light de- uh, caffeine for the most part. I will have a caffeinated thing once in a while, but I don't, I don't rely on it anymore for energy. And I definitely don't have it in the late afternoon or evening because I'll stay up till like 4 a.m. Or 4, yeah, a.m. All right, guys. I'm making this story right now because I can't believe this. I need to answer this poll right now. We're recording a podcast. We're addressed this in a couple episodes from now. This is infuriating. Do you drink decaffeinated coffee? And if so, why? Because I think drinking decaf is a nonsensical thing. Because there's actually a little bit of caffeine in the decaf. That's true. That's true. There, it's a it's a so small what, amount. So what's the point? You're still drinking de- you're still drinking caffeine. You're having way less what of it. What are you doing here? You're having way less. I'm not Guys, trying to drink coffee please to wake up. I sleep well. I eat sometimes well. And I don't need caffeine all the time. Dude, you you don't give yourself the sleep you need. You are like this machine that's like... Just and I'm like, thriving. Like like oil is splurting everywhere. Like the all the mechanics are, are, are panicked and, and shell-shocked. And they're like, what are we going to do? Because he's not sleeping enough. And then you just throw caffeine in there just to keep them jolted for a few more hours. But here's the thing. Why don't you just drink like tea or like, like a water with meal? Like why coffee specifically? Because I, I like how it tastes. You don't like the way it makes you feel? I mean, like the mood of it, I suppose. But it doesn't give me... It might give me like a real slight sensation from whatever, like small caffeine. But I don't really notice a lot of it. This is annoying me as a question. This is a, this is a stupid line of questioning. I like no, decaf because I like decaf coffee, dude. I like decaf tea. I like decaf coffee. And every now and then I'll have something else. Let's just say history's on my side right now. You're having too much caffeine. I'm not having too much. What's what well, my caffeine take, Ken? My caffeine Bro, takes great. You, how many times have you shown? We record at night, and how many times have you shown the the podcast the energy drink that you're gulping? <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck are you even saying? Listen, it's necessary. It's helpful. This is unbelievable. You know what's it's almost helpful. as frustrating as this is what? this caffeine talk. What? Hearing people talk about how Donda's coming soon. Just now, like just like thirty seconds ago, they dropped the Shakari Richardson commercial with one of Kanye's new songs from Donda on it. That just happened. It's happening, man. Like literally right before the podcast started. Like it just popped up on my feed. Uh, they're doing a listening thing, and so I think that that's probably one. whatever. I, I saw a uh, Pusha T post about that, so I know that that was going to be happening or happened it's just been so drawn out the yandi album that never happened well leaked yeah but it's like but it it didn't really happen you know it's like it's getting really annoying i'm confused are you you don't think it's gonna happen are you sick of the i i think if it it looks like it actually might happen but i'm just sick of hearing about it if it's just put out the fucking album just stop with this like telling people you're gonna do something and wait later finally how many times is that not the case? They there was no talks about it until last week Friday. That's not true. How many times they've been what? talking about Donda? Not like seriously though. They've said it's coming soon so many times. He was saying that like a year ago, I think. I remember seeing posts about it. 
That's a pretty short time as far as album production. The way it was all framed sounded like it was about to come, and I just kept on seeing posts like, it's happening, oh. it's happening. No, from my perspective, I it felt like to me like it was going to happen for a while, but they were just working on it. Uh, that was my maybe, thought about Maybe it. that's what it is. I'm just, I'm just hearing so much about it, and it's just kind of annoying to me. It's just like, put out the fucking music. I don't want to... Thursday at midnight. Yeah. And hopefully it's good. It's similar with the Gap thing, by the way. It's like, when's the Gap collab going to happen? When's it going to happen? And it's just like, you just hear all this talk and all these bullshit posts on Instagram of like, when things might happen. It's so annoying. Well, just just like how music takes a long time, guess what? Clothes take even longer. For like sure. much longer. For sure. And that I am won't excited come out for to probably the, 2022 at the earliest. I heard that it was actually maybe coming out in the summer, but that's the thing. It's like, who? What is no, even the no, timetable? No, 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 no. There's no way. I'm curious because it's gonna be Kanye's. It's gonna be a hip hop album mm -hmm. slash pop album, which his last one was gospel, and it did not do well with the public. I mean, it did numbers, but like no one liked it. There was no re-listens to it. I'm wondering if he's gonna like still be. Super Christian. I'm curious if he's gonna be like walking the line like he was in Jesus is King and just be like no references to anything drug related, sex related, nothing. Not even putting eight of weights in the songs because those are of the devil or whatever. Yeah. Or is it gonna go back to, you know, maybe the kind we knew before, but now he's kind of this in between stage where yes, he's still Christian, but he's also able to make this really good hip hop. And not be afraid of those devilish elements to the music. Which is um, the most be, new Christian bullshit I have ever heard in my life. Dude, it, that shit drives me crazy. I what? hate that new Christian bullshit what? of over-labeling and shit and being too afraid of shit. I remember that when I was growing up, there was... Um, is that new? Or is that just old? I feel like that's old. Meaning like baby Christian is what I mean. Like you haven't been a Christian for very long. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Like gotcha. I remember there's this guy at my old church that I used to go to back in the day. And he he wasn't thrilled that we were using the drum kit during the worship <laughs> because he thought it was rooted in rock and roll and that was the devil's music. It's like that's how, that's what you think. Oh, that makes me mad, remembering that. This fucking mustachioed oh, yeah. little bitch. I can't believe he said that. Wow, Call that makes out, me Ken. angry. Call him out. Wow, that makes me so angry. Oh. I have a What You Jammin'. Let's hear it. Um, Sob Rock, John Mayer's new album. Ten songs, okay. good shit. It yeah. has this, um, he said it in a really great way. He did an interview with... What the fuck's his name? Zane Lowe, I think his name yeah. is. He does like Apple podcasts. Yeah, interviews. one. Yeah. And he actually does really good interviews. And John Mayer was saying that he's like, he's trying to implant false memories in the listener's brain of like what the 80s felt like, like a feeling mm. from the 80s. But in reality, that particular, the feeling on that album never existed in the 80s, which I thought was like the most surreal, weird, interesting way to like manipulate <laughs> What drugs Someone. is he on? I need to get on that shit. Yeah. Isn't that Whatever weird? he's taking, that's what I need. It's like, this is what the 80s was like, and yeah. it wasn't like that. Isn't that weird to think about? That's kind of a cool concept, though, is like making someone feel something that never was real to begin with. Yeah, it is kind of interesting. The album's good. The album's really good. It's short. It's less than 40 minutes long. It's really? It's sad. Yeah, it's uh, 10 songs, less than 40 minutes. Um, it, it's like... It's kind of a smooth ride, but it's kind of it, the lyrics are pretty sad. Um, yeah. And but yeah, it's like summary. It's like eighties. Do you ever listen to John Mayer, or like have you ever enjoyed no, any of his stuff? I never got into his stuff. I I feel like for me, if it's an artist I'm not as familiar with, if I'm gonna commit to listening to your album, it's gotta be under an hour. Well, like if it's, this one is. If it's artists I, I'm familiar with and I will listen to, or like someone I like a dark hard fan of, I'll listen to the album through and through, no problem. But if I don't yeah. know you, or if you're like a brand new artist, you gotta keep it shorter. Cause I'm not listening for longer than an hour for your new album. It's just crazy how I'll notice like how much longer is left in the album. Like my attention span is so low. It's less than 40 minutes for a full album. And it's like, yeah. I'm just like, all right, when's, when's the next song? It's like, I kind of don't like that about myself. I wish that I could focus a little bit more. But then again, Devil's Advocate, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's like a, in some weird way, maybe it's like a, 
like a quality check of some sort, you know? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think so. Yeah. Like, I think it can definitely be exaggerated. Like, I think TikTok is, if you're on TikTok all the time and then you go try to watch a 30 minute TV show, like, and find that it's difficult for you, that's probably a bad thing. But like I also is it though, or is it just how our brains are wired? Well, I think it's like I think you can, I think our brains are like what would the word be? I think it's like you could manipulate your brain to be really satisfied with a lot of shit, but it doesn't mean it's good for you. Like I could eat Skittles all day long, (laughs) and I would be so happy for like a week. Oh, I'd be so happy if I ate Skittles. I've really like cut back on candy, dude. I used to eat so much candy and I'm really just fucking forcing myself to stop eating so much fucking candy. That immediate glucose rush. I know I can as a as a great analogy and you're right on so many levels. Here's my rebel to that though. And okay. we talk about we talk about TikTok a lot on this podcast. Honestly, I I want to do a TikTok podcast. I feel like that's something that's like missing the market. That'd be perfect. Just straight up a podcast dedicated to talking about TikTok? Yes. You think that would work? I think it could work. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm not no no no, not with you. I don't think okay, I, don't, okay. I think you last a week. I'm just saying Oh, I don't uh, thank you. <laughs> but I'm saying I think it'd be a good thing for the market. I think people would, would listen to that. I think people would be interested in that. But um with my original point, there's I I was just just watching her today. This um this girl on TikTok, you might have seen her, Anna Starr. She has like ten million followers. She's known okay. for like doing like Starbucks reviews and like doing like really cool, like very like like seamless transitions and like hmm. doing like a hundred cuts in like a thirty second video, but like you don't know us it because it's like so flawless. Like that's wow. what she's known for. Mm-hmm. And she has like she like goes to grad school during the day, and then at night she does like TikToks and she makes them all and stuff, and she's like She's like she like sucks you into her world like like I can't stop like scrolling like she's like so entertaining so many levels is like this TikTok specifically made for your average super super basic white girl but like she's so good at doing her that's like I can't stop watching her like her lip syncs like her her reviews of the of the Starbucks drinks like her mm-hmm. transitions like during little like montages. Like, it's so, like, well done. And it's, like, this is far much more entertaining. I could scroll on her feed, and it will be much more entertaining than anything I'll see on CBS. Yeah. By a long shot. Oh, for sure. Yeah, by, by a long sure. shot. So that's we, so when you said, like, is it, you know, bad that we can't focus on, you know, we can focus on a TikTok, but we can't focus on a TV show? It's like, well, maybe some of these TV shows just suck. That is interesting, though, about her... She. It sounds like she's putting a spell on you, dude. She's. It's like, she's so good. Like, I want. I don't want to do the same content as her, but like, I want to get my game to her level one day. Cause like, it's like, it makes you realize like, oh, this app isn't just some stupid social media thing that kids use. This is like the future of what entertainment and like marketing is gonna be. Hmm. That's that's what it is. It's not you know. It's not your your Facebook, Instagram ads. Fa- in my world, in my opinion, Facebook, Instagram ads are old. This is what's this is what it is. I think that's true. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, not that they won't be used at all. I mean, they definitely still be used, but like, I mean, but isn't that of- weird though? Couldn't uh, the cra- here's the here's the rebuttal to your rebuttal. So it sounds okay, like go, she's putting go. you. She it sounds like she's putting you under a spell of some sort. It it sounds like there's like seamless transitions, and something that's just there's a sheen and like a, some sort of like alluring thing, but that doesn't mean yeah. that it's a a worthwhile thing to be consuming. Why not? It's it's like what substance is there? I'm being entertained. That is so baseline level, though. I'm saying like there should be yeah. like there Man. should be like a deeper thing to it, in my opinion. What gets more deeper than, than enjoyment? That's a stupid thing to say. <laughs> what gets deeper well, than enjoyment? No, no, no. Layers no, no. of let's, enjoyment. Let's, no, no, no. Ken, we what, what's what's life? We work. 
and then mm-hmm. we en- we enjoy other aspects of life, whether that's being with family, whether that's going to a show, whether it's um doing a hobby you really enjoy. Yeah. That like that's enjoyment, right? Yeah, I think it like fulfillment might be a better word. Okay, well, if you if you want to go down, we can, we can separate the two then. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's not. Well, here's the thing: in her world, it's not like it's like there's like a fifteen ten twenty percent of it. I would say it's like some of it's like in her life. She talks about it's like actually like like I just I saw one day where she talks about like you know her recent breakup a few months ago and where she's at right now when she's learned from her experiences. And it's like, she had an interesting perspective and it wasn't like anything super deep or super profound, but like yeah. hearing her perspective of something was like interesting, you know, like maybe reflect on, you know, my own life and stuff like that. Sure. Well, there, there's a little bit of like that, that sustenance that I'm kind of talking. Uh, my point, I have no idea who this person is, but I'm saying like, just like Skittles, you can eat Skittles all day long, but like you need some like healthy shit to like sustain you, or well, else it does. TikTok as Skittles. Think of it as trail mix. But I'm not saying that TikTok is you Skittles. I'm saying that like I think that it facilitates a style of of attention grabbing that could be Skittles, and maybe even could more easily be Skittles and other things because it's so fast and and stuff. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know if I have anything else to say for this one. Uh, I actually do want to check out this girl. What did you say her name was? Anna Star? Let me find her. Watch me become the biggest Anna Star fan. I I think you would like her. I think your sister would be a super huge fan of her. In fact, I'm pretty sure she probably follows her already. Anna X-S-I-T-A-R. That's her. I'm going to follow, and we'll see how this goes. All we'll right. See, we'll see what happens. And maybe, You're going to be entertained, then. Maybe I'm just going to be... Just absolutely enveloped in this. Oh, just as it's acceptable to do the decaf if it's at night. Only at night, he thinks. That's what he's saying. I mean, let me see. Let me check the poll real quick. Bro, this is so Damn. biased. So two. So Jen Stoner and Amanda McComas are saying you're right. And then my boy Alex is saying that he's with me. So you got three you're winning three to one right now. We'll check the, the poll fact tomorrow. the fact that you put out a biased poll on your own page and I'm currently winning speaks volumes to my point. You guess I got time, we got twenty four hours. We'll see. Even if check it comes through, t- dude, the polls are rigged. We'll check back in we'll check back in t- when we record tomorrow. We'll talk about it. Bro. Yeah, we'll we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll just that'll just get me angry all over again. That'll be good. And I look forward to it, guys. At Cooking Coach on TikTok, at Cooking Coach Pod on Instagram, the Cooking a Coach on YouTube. You can find us on Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud. You name it, we're on there. Go out, check us out. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, share with your friends. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Cooking a Coach, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.